Volunteers Need to Build Playground at UDLA Uvalde Dual Language Academy is getting a new playground on May 13th, the culmination of decades of effort by coach Norma Sandoval, aided by a chance encounter with Meghan Markle. A conversation the coach had with a staff member of Markle's sparked an initiative that led to hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of playground improvements at two local parks, and volunteers are being sought to help with another build at UDLA on May 13th. Sandoval said she was asked to show Markle and her staff, who came to Uvalde in the aftermath of the Rob school shooting, around while volunteering at the Willie de Leon Civic Center. Sandoval was headed to close her classroom at the school, but said she felt called by God to change her mind and instead go to the Civic Center on May 26th. Sandoval said, months after the visit, she told Jen DeMelo, a representative from Kaboom, who helped coordinate the De Leon Park, build how she was so desperate for playgrounds for Uvalde. She asked Meghan Markle and her staff about it, and a stunned DeMelo told her, wow, you may be the reason why we're in Uvalde. It was an act of courage because it took a courageous act for me to talk to her and ask her about playgrounds and the fact that it didn't go on deaf ears, that she saw my passion and she saw my plea is amazing, Sandoval said. It is a God thing and I am a believer. When I went to the Civic Center that morning, I asked God to use me in a big way. I never knew it would be for this, Sandoval said. She said she was impressed by how much compassion Markle showed to community members after the tragedy. She won me over that day, her gentleness, her empathy, everything, just seeing her make eye contact, getting on her knees, crying. It was just such a great experience for me to see, being that I didn't really know her, Sandoval said. While Sandoval didn't know it at the time, her remarks to Markle's staff led to new playgrounds at De Leon Park, Esperanza Park, and soon at her school, the fulfillment of an over two decade dream. While giving them a tour of the facility and interacting with teachers spread out across the center, she began chatting with an assistant to Markle as they walked around. The conversation turned to children, and Sandoval remarked she had always hoped to see more play spaces for children in the community. I said, you know what, you've got to shoot your shot. So I said, listen, I've been teaching PE for over 20 years. And in my 20 years, I've known that we in Uvalde, in my school for sure, do not have the playground that kids need, Sandoval said. That playground is probably as old as the school, and it's an old school. She spoke of the general lack of park equipment across Uvalde, and how she loved to see children playing, which she thinks is not only good physical activity, but can lift a child's spirits. When a kid is in a playground, they're not worried about if mom and dad fought last night or they're going to fight tonight. Maybe they don't know whether they're going to get a warm meal at home. But all the things a child worries about, they don't worry about while they are in a playground. Though she desperately wanted a new playground for her school, Sandoval said that decades of attempting to raise money, selling field day t-shirts and hosting various other fundraisers failed to raise enough to make it happen. She said playgrounds are expensive, and classes would want to go on field trips or have other needs the money wound up going towards. Though Markle's staff told her to reach out to Kaboom, a nonprofit that works to end inequality in play spaces, she said life got in the way. She coached hundreds of children in physical education once the school year started, and though she was short one staff member, she made it work. Sandoval continued to try to find a way to make a playground happen, speaking with an official from the San Antonio Food Bank while volunteering in a local food drive, which led her to apply for a grant from the San Antonio Spurs Give Foundation. Though she made it to the second round, she did not obtain the $100,000 grant. But Markle and her staff didn't forget Sandoval's words about Uvalde children needing playgrounds, and they reached out to Kaboom, and together with the Archwell Foundation, their nonprofit named for Meghan and Prince Harry's son, and various other volunteers working with the city of Uvalde, they built a new playground last year at De Leon Park near Rob School. Sandoval saw the news on social media and was overjoyed. She said Sherry Rutledge and Lucy Capt reached out to her, knowing she was passionate about playgrounds, and put her in contact with Kaboom staff. 
and now her dream of a new playground at her school is coming true in a few days. Sandoval said they are still seeking volunteers to help build the playground. Anyone interested in helping may register at udlabuildeventbrite.com. The City of Uvalde, the Archwell Foundation, and Kaboom worked together October 13 through 15, 2022 to transform De Leon Park, the first in a series of projects. Next on the roster was Esperanza Park, redone April 18 through 20th, and the upcoming UDLA build next weekend. The CarMax Foundation funded the playground at Esperanza Park. The Community Foundation Uvalde Forever Fund, Bank of America, San Antonio Spurs, and the San Antonio Area Foundation contributed funding for the UDLA build set Saturday. And there are more to come, according to Kaboom organizers. Throughout the history of our organization, our work has been rooted in the healing power of play. When we first came to Uvalde, we wanted to support in any way that the community needed and build amazing play spaces where new memories could be created. Since our first playground build at De Leon Park, we've been able to foster a relationship with the city of Uvalde, grounded in support and love, and identify the need for additional play spaces throughout the city that will help accelerate our work through our 25 in 5 initiative to end play space inequity, said Lisa Ratliff, CEO of Kaboom. Our mission is about making sure that every kid has a wonderful place to play, and our work in Uvalde is just getting started. We want to build playgrounds throughout the entire city so that every kid in Uvalde has a beautiful place like De Leon Park, Esperanza Park, and the newest play space at Uvalde Dual Language Academy to play, learn, and just be happy and healthy kids.